Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of Ask the ND. I'm Dr. Jeremy Wolf. Upon its discovery in the 1930s, vitamin C has been one of the most talked about and researched vitamins. However, vitamin C's benefits date back to the early days of global exploration when sailors oftentimes died from a preventable disease known as scurvy, a result of a vitamin C deficiency. Although unaware of the actual substance, in the 1700s, a Scottish doctor performed an experiment that showed citrus fruits cured scurvy. In this episode of Ask the ND, I'm going to talk about current uses and benefits of vitamin C. Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is a water-soluble vitamin. Like many other vitamins, humans do not have the ability to make vitamin C, so we must get it from the supplements we take or the foods we eat. Sources of vitamin C include dark leafy greens, citrus fruits like oranges and grapefruit, kiwi fruit, strawberries, tomato, and broccoli. In the body, vitamin C has many functions. It's an essential cofactor for numerous reactions. It functions as an antioxidant, plays an important role in immune function, and is necessary for wound healing and the synthesis of collagen. So what else does it do in the body? Here's the rundown. Vitamin C has been found to have both antiviral as well as antibacterial activity. While research regarding whether or not vitamin C can protect against the common cold has been mixed, research has concluded that it may help reduce the duration of the cold. Allergic rhinitis is the most common allergic disorder in the US, and many of its symptoms are a result of a release of histamine. It may prevent histamine secretion, and also research has shown that histamine's levels increase as vitamin C's levels decrease. New research is being conducted on vitamin C's use for cardiovascular disease, as higher levels of vitamin C may lower risk for heart disease. Vitamin C may offer protection against high blood pressure, plaque buildup, as well as other blood vessel changes that precede heart disease. There are a few mechanisms of actions that may make vitamin C beneficial for those who suffer from asthma. Vitamin C may reduce airway hyperreactivity, as well as promote relaxation of tracheal smooth muscle. Research has also shown that there may be a link between lower levels of ascorbic acid in children with asthma versus controls. Vitamin C supplements are available as ascorbic acid and in buffered forms, which include sodium ascorbate, calcium ascorbate, and more. It also comes as an ester C, which is a proprietary product of calcium ascorbate and vitamin C metabolites. For adults, the most frequently used dosage of vitamin C ranges from 100 to 3,000 milligrams per day. Vitamin C is best tolerated when taken with food. If taking higher doses, it's best to split the doses throughout the day. Vitamin C interacts with other supplements. It increases iron absorption, inhibits copper absorption, and works in conjunction together with vitamin E to function as an antioxidant. Certain individuals with underlying health conditions should not take vitamin C in excess and therefore must check with their healthcare provider before starting. Thank you for watching another edition of Ask the ND. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly tips to help you on your journey towards happy wellness. From all of us here at Lucky Vitamin, spread the wellness.